Hi, it's Kevin Low Bates here, and in a comment about a month ago, someone asked me about velocity of tokens. So I thought today I would talk about why I don't like that term, or rather why I don't like the term velocity of currency, and it comes from having a mathematical and an engineering background. So in economics, the concept of velocity of money is the idea that you can put a number or a measure on how much a particular currency is being used economically. And for example, in a microeconomic scale, you can look at two neighbors who one Saturday decide to do jobs for each other and pay each other $20 for each job. So let's say a total of five jobs are done, then in that day, a $20 note will have passed backwards and forwards between them, creating $100 worth of economic activity so the velocity there is five. Um, whereas at a macroeconomic scale, you can look at a nation and say, right, well, this year the nation had a GDP of X and it's got a money supply size of Y. So the velocity of money in that economy is X over Y. And this is where my problem with the term velocity arises because in physics, velocity is a vector. It has speed and it has a direction. Whereas in economics, when they use the term velocity, you're looking at a currency unit being divided by a currency unit uh, times a time period. So the currency units cancel out and you're left with one over time, which is frequency. Now, velocity in physics is definitely not frequency. And the second problem I have is that when you're talking about velocity in physics, you're talking about something that has that velocity. Um, usually it has mass as well, unless we're talking about a photon. But uh, in economics, uh, the money isn't moving in any particular direction, and it's a bit of a kind of mishmash network of stuff that's going on. And um, if we sort of look at things like Brownian motion, if you've got a healthy economy, money is moving around between lots and lots of different parties, and you can measure a velocity. Now, you could have a similar system that has the same money velocity, but all the transactions are going to one person. And um, there's no capture of that sense that these two kinds of um, economic systems are very, very different, yet they have the same value for the velocity of money. Um, so. Uh, this is the problem that I have with it, really, is that it, uh, the analogy isn't good, I guess is what it boils down to. And in particular, you can get sucked into extending the analogy and trying to work out the momentum of the economy by multiplying this velocity of money with some other thing. Um, but it's just not going to work out because, as I said, the initial concept of velocity is wrongly named. So um, that doesn't really get you anywhere, but I'm sorry, that's uh, economics for you. Hope you found this entertaining and see you in the next video soon. Bye for now.